Welcome everybody to my first tutorial with WordPress. I'm going to show you guys um, how to quickly go through the installation process and it's a pretty simple step-by-step um, -step guide. Um, the first thing we want to do is download the WordPress software and we can find it over at wordpress.org. Once we do that we'll have a zip file and I call my folder uh, blog. Um, you can call it whatever you want and when we go into the folder we're going to have a WP config sample file here and we're going to rename it to just WP config. So get rid of the hyphen and the sample and we're going to open that up. Once we have the WP config file open, we're going to um, look at the coding here. Now, the first thing you need to do when uh, looking at the WP config file is take notice of uh, the entries over here database name, database user, and database password. What you need to do first is go to your hosting company. Um, I use GoDaddy and they have a tool uh, that allows you to create a MySQL database and you need to create a database to hold the blog. So um, I think one and one is another company that offers a tool. A lot of these companies are offering a simple tool so you can just create the database and it's pretty easy. So what you'll need is you'll create the database and give it a name you'll uh, set yourself up as a user and create a password for yourself. Once you have all three of those uh, pieces of information, you'll take that and you'll enter it in the WP config file. Uh, next we have a DB host, that's a database host. Um, when you create your uh, database, take note of the uh, database host. If you have a problem finding it, just contact your hosting company and they'll tell you uh, what that is. Um, Besides that, we have over here a few entries where um, basically it contains random numbers and random um, letters that um, will actually secure the database. Now, you don't see anything here, but what uh, WordPress offers is this cool tool over here, and um, it says you don't have to remember the keys, just make them long, random, and complicated, or better yet, use the online generator. And that's why I did, I used the online generator. So once you click on online generator, it'll give you the random numbers and letters, and you'll just copy all of this, come back to the area over here, you'll delete that, and then we can always paste it uh, into that portion. After doing that, we're going to come to um, save our file. Now, if you're using a text editor or you're using um, some other FTP, you'll just save the file, and when you're done, you'll load it to um, your website. Now, if you haven't loaded all the uh, files to your website, you can do that now. You'll um, load your blog folder uh, to your website. The next thing we're going to do is actually install the WordPress software. Now, when installing the WordPress software, um, they have this cool five minute easy quick installation guide. It's actually called the famous five minute install and it really is uh, simplified where you don't need to know much. So <laughs> literally you don't need to know that much to install WordPress. Um, you know as long as you can carefully follow the guide step by step and, and you are somewhat familiar um, with web development I guess. Um, now what we have here is we have my website on top forward slash blog because that's the WordPress uh, blog folder uh, WP hyphen admin and then we have install.php that's the file that will trigger the installation now since my blog's already installed it says already installed what you will see if you're just doing this for the first time is you'll see the software installing if it doesn't install that means there's something wrong and I'll tell you if there's something wrong with the database if there's something wrong with the username or password whatever it is um, it'll tell you if that's the case, you'll just come back to your config file, WP config, and look into um, if the parameters or the credentials, I should say, are uh, matching. And after that, if your installation is successful, you'll be brought into WordPress uh, blog. And that's where I am now. This is the admin area, the dashboard, I would say. And there's not much more I can say about WordPress besides the fact that it's very simple to use and a lot of this stuff is self-explanatory. WordPress itself runs on plugins. It's like it's you have to think about like building blocks, like a stack, and the building blocks are the plugins in WordPress. So you'll start off with almost nothing, um, you know, because the, you know your blog is going to have nothing really installed in it as far as plugins goes. That being said, uh, you can go to WordPress.org and you can find so many plugins. It's unbelievable. There's tons of plugins there, 
and if I come back here into my blog folder I'm gonna go to WP content and I have a plugins folder and I also have a themes folder the themes folder holds a CSS and I'm using a theme called iNov 1.4.5 and I'm sure there's upgraded versions since then but what I did was take the CSS file and modify it to my liking and the plugins the plugins were like a little test and run. I really had to, um, you know, get familiar with what I thought was working best with my blog, meaning what wasn't causing uh, too much slowdown and what was really, um, you know, making my blog the best it could be. So you really need to be careful on what kind of plugins you install. Once you um, download a plugin, like a zip file, all you have to do is extract the folder onto your desktop or whatever else you're going to extract it to. Take the folder, put it inside um, your blog folder, um, but put it in the WP Content Plugins folder. So you'll find the Plugins folder right in WP Content. Open the Plugins folder and throw the plugin right in there. And once you do that, you'll put the folder to your um, server. You'll come back to your blog, and over here you'll have an option to activate it, and that's where the Plugins option here is, and you'll see all your plugins. Very simple to do. Um, you know, just be careful what you're installing. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial to show what exactly I've installed and why I've installed it. Um, there's some pretty cool things you can do with a self-hosted WordPress blog. Mainly, I would say this. The, the, the biggest plus for installing a self-hosted WordPress blog is the, um, the SEO behind it. You're actually driving traffic to your website by creating content. Um, that's a little bit different than WordPress.com because what you're doing is driving traffic to WordPress.com. So I would recommend having the self-hosted take the time to learn how to do that. Um, and also if you notice here I have a flash header and that's a whole you know if you want to get into the flash header I'll probably do um, again I'll probably do another tutorial to show how to do that so I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful um, I just want to say thank you to everybody watching because I am now a YouTube partner um, YouTube finally accepted me into the partnership I guess you would say uh, that's a good thing for a lot of people and then some people might be annoyed by the advertisements you might see but um, basically the, the advertisements I feel um, are going to be great for this channel because I'll end up doing giveaways or um, you know contests and stuff like that so that's coming soon and that's it please subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook fan page